Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toaster Bros. And today we are doing a sponsored showcase of the Thermaltic LCGS pre-built gaming computer. Yeah, Thermaltake makes gaming PCs and they sent over one of these right here featuring an RTX 3060 and Ryzen 5 5600X that you can actually pick up from Amazon with prime shipping, but is it actually any good? Well, we're gonna open this thing up, but of course, Thermaltake was nice enough to sponsor this showcase. We're gonna open this thing up, look at the PC, see what it looks like, and then dive into some testing to show you how well that 3060 and 5600X perform in the latest titles. So let's just not waste any more time, open this thing up and see what's inside. So what does LCGS stand for? Liquid cooled gaming systems we have found out. So this may or may not be like a Thermaltake sub brand because as you guys have come to know and love Thermaltake, you know, from cases to power supplies to really, I mean, they've been around for a long time. They've made all kinds of different products. I'm sure some that we don't even know about. We're excited to see another pre-book company on the market. Um, you have companies like NZXT with their BLD, with their builds. I mean, CyberPower, iBuyPower, you have all these pre-book companies and now you're starting to see actual companies that make OEM parts and stuff kind of jumping into the game, which is really interesting because I would think they'd be able to get the best deals. I mean, you look at like iBuy and CyberPower, they don't really have their own parts, right? I mean, they're using AMD, Intel, NVIDIA, but Thermaltake, they got power supplies, they got cases, they have all kinds of stuff that they can kind of pick and choose from. And well, they name their prices on that stuff. We get like a little power cord. Yep, we got our Wi-Fi, AC antennas here. Looks like they gave us like all of our extra screws, some extra zip ties and stuff. They actually give us like some extra case accessories. Typical pre-built start guide to make sure that you're gonna have a good experience, that you're not gonna have a ton of questions. They actually give you pictures, which is nice too. This is this is important. Very important. And then they tell you to take out their packing foam, so they're more than likely gonna have some foam in there. I'm just gonna open this real quick to verify there's nothing super special in here. It looks like it's just like some, you know, for the motherboard, the case, all that good stuff, some extra SATA cables. This is gonna go in the case. It's always nice when a pre-built company gives you stuff with the case and the actual build because it kind of shows that they have faith in the customer. I, I don't always love when a pre-built company gives you like nothing with the build because then it kind of makes it seem like they don't want you to work on it. But that's not really the point of gaming computers. You know, we're a big community. We're all helping support each other. And this thing is heavy. That's, that's a lot of PC. I mean, it's a pretty big build. I'm scared to touch it. Ugh. This definitely looks like a unique case. I know we kind of took a quick sneak peek um, on Amazon, which at the time of filming this, prime shipping ready to go. Yeah, so this is an interesting style case. It's kind of set up like, you can almost say like an O11 dynamic, just not quite as fancy. It still has a standard power supply basement, just a standard panel that we're gonna have to grab a screwdriver for. Uh, and then we have like these rear exhaust fans, which are on the, I used to call it the rear panel. Normally you don't really see that. We've seen some Antec cases with it. And I think we've actually seen a couple thermal tech cases similar to this one, but I know we've never built in this exact one before. It definitely is. So, oh God. Oh, that thing's what heavy. What that? I don't know, I just like didn't want to budge. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the front panel. I'm just gonna take a look inside here, make sure everything looks good and sound. So we took our sound foam, very simple. Mainly that's in there to protect the graphics card. And man, this is some insane looking RAM. I honestly forget that Thermaltake makes RAM, it's but clean. I mean, that stuff is tall. Definitely um, good that they did the radio mount like this because it might've had some trouble fitting up top, but it does look like it fit at 360 just fine up top or up front. This is definitely a really big case. Now that I'm looking at it, it almost looks like if you take this cage out, it'll fit a 360 here as well so lots of room for upgrade let's go ahead and kind of go over the parts that we have and then we'll open up the back real quick and just see how the cable management looks but we got a pretty decent build for the price here right now it's 16.99 it could go down more it could be discontinued and replaced we never really know when we release these videos for the heart of this build we have a ryzen 5600x it's a very classic six core 12 thread that's cooled by this very nice 240 mil argb liquid cooler we can only assume that there's some thermal take thermal paste under thermal take thermal paste that's a tough one and then we have this zotec twin edge gaming rtx 30 60, that's going to have 12 gigs of VRAM. Definitely performs a little bit lesser than the 3060 Ti, but you got a lot of VRAM. Two eight gig sticks of DDR4, and it is 3600 megahertz, so dual channel, 16 gigs. Definitely good on them for doing that. We do not like seeing a single channel. Under here, we have a one terabyte NVMe Gen 3 SSD, X570 to house all those parts. We have this Thermaltik Tough Power GX2700 watt. I think that that's 80 plus gold, but we will, I think that's what the G stands for. We'll have to look it up and make sure. I think that's a pretty good rate of power supply though. And then it looks like we also have an MSI Wi-Fi adapter, which I, it's always interesting when you want to see companies do this rather than getting like a board that has Wi-Fi built in. I don't know if this is easier or better, who knows? Definitely interesting to see a nice name brand card. The case appears to be a Glacier 360 and that also may be the name of the build as well. So that's definitely interesting. Maybe they named their builds after the cases. I don't know, we're kind of dumb. We're <laughs> not the smartest of YouTubers. It's definitely cool to see a pre-built that just has some decent looking cable management. They picked good parts too. Like they weren't super stingy about going with different brands. They weren't stingy about going um, with name brand stuff. So I definitely like to see that. Look at this like little their, secret uh... sticker. Windows 10, definitely interesting. And yep, 80 plus gold rated power supply. So that's definitely good. Has 
gigabit LAN. We got 802.11 AC. Oh my gosh, thermal take. Ooh. You have outdone yourselves. That's that clean. looks good. And that's something that can't be said for all the pre-builds that we take a look at. Now, keep in mind, whenever you get a pre-build, it all depends on who builds it too. These aren't built by machine or robot like some people may think they are. It definitely will be kind of give or take, but if they all look like this, then very good job, thermal take. Very proud of you guys. All right, for the moment of truth, we got a really big power button up top here. It had a nice brutal click. It was like click, but it's it working. It looks like all the RGB is good. As far as the complaints go, um, you know, one thing I don't love are these cables. I, it'd be almost nicer if they found a power supply that had black cables, but at least they're sleeved and at least it's 80 plus gold. That's definitely good. And I think it's, like I said, I think it's fairly high in the tier list, like maybe B tier or something. Yeah, it is It is where they did instead of um, three up here and then maybe one more in the back. And then also another, another complaint is the two non RGB fans up front instead of like, you know, doing three. I mean, really what would have looked the greatest, and I, I would almost pay a little bit more for it, is if they did one, two, three RGB, and then one, two, three RGB, and then like basically everything else the same. So you're saying so, it's any an upgraded version. That would be cool to have an upgraded version with some more RGB fans. Maybe they do. We didn't look all over. We saw quite a few builds in Amazon though, so it looked like we had options, but overall looks pretty good, but does it perform well? Well, we gotta install some games and find out, so let's do it. We are kicking off this beautiful Thermaltake PC with Apex Legends. Uh, Pretty popular AAA title. It's not super hard to run. We get the FOV all the way up. Pretty much max settings. I mean, high on everything. And we're already getting like 170 FPS. So uh, this is a 1080p monitor. You could go with 1440, like a 27 or a 32 inch if you wanted to. And uh, some games could probably even run at 4K on this, just lower settings. We're looking really good though, like not having any like frame drop or anything. The scariness of it not being tested perfectly, but it looks like they did a pretty good job making sure everything worked well. Peek me. Oh God, don't peek me. Uh oh, I've been, I've been scanned. Oh, dang, I didn't even have a chance. Oh have we met worthy opponents? I was talking mad yeah. shit. Dude, once I get past the 1X, I turn oh, yeah, yeah. this. That guy, I can't stand him. I don't need to like hit my gamer hunch because this monitor's nice and tall. Dude, Whoa. these guys just come out blazing. Oh my God, they bought nades? I can't see, why is my screen shaking? Where is this guy? Oh, oh God, I had to man. reload. They're really, I'm not doing great today. They're humbling you today. My teammate is facing backwards while like, oh, he got it. He pulled a 180 on him. <laughs> Stop, don't thirst me, I'm trying to watch you. Oh, he's getting off a Phoenix kit. Why? I don't really know. I mean, I guess he wants all of his health. Oh, oh man. boy, that was That's rough. a stay free kind of moment. Fans to outside doors. Fun fact for Toasty Bros super fans, we have exterior doors in our office on our interior. Oh, here we go. The shots. I've already, I've already broken two of them. I think we already downed one. Okay, we have to win this one. Ooh. I missed uh, that. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey. He ate that nade. Oh my god, his body folded. Oh god. I talked a lot of a lot of smack about this gun and I just couldn't hit him with it. I'm gonna eat that nade. Oh god, I gotta heal off. What's happening? Clutch, clutch, clutch. Oh, oh no! Oh, teammate, dude. We were playing with brain. He was playing people. a different game. He had Roblox in the background. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Lizzy uh, Gobblers. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, they revolted? Dirty, dude. Oh. I'll finish him with a swift snipe to the head. Your fate. No, I missed. Uh, <laughs> but we won. Oh my God. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That was painful. Next game. We're now in Fortnite and we are running DX12, Epic View Distance, everything else off. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drop in. Let's just go right here. The FPS numbers, man, looking pretty solid. So I'm with a bunch of bots right now. I could just battle the bots, but that's no fun, is it? All right, let's go out. I'm ready. So far, nothing. Ooh, 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 okay, okay. It's a little extra. Why there's so many small shield bars? No one to come to Sanctuary. I can't even see the map with this sticker on the monitor, but that's fine. 
Wow. Didn't miss shot there. That was that was pretty good. So shoot bots. Oh, wrong gun. Bots are kind of cracked. Leave me alone, bot. Oh my god. Oh, I don't think that was a bot. No, it was an enemy. He found me. I drawed so much attention to myself that an actual guy <laughs> found me and killed me. I thought it was a bot. Yeah, there you go. Fortnite. Looking great. Let's we'll see if Jackson can win a game in Warzone. Oh, <laughs> you hunted him. You didn't even have time to shoot. No, oh, almost got him. This guy's getting so many rocks thrown at him because he's just sitting in spawn. Oh, I actually won. I, I, I never won. <laughs> well, never all right, won. there's the gulag and there's the benchmarks. It plays games good, right? I mean, there's nothing it can't play, so it's definitely a good sign. All right, guys, so we just finished benchmarking this Thermal Take PC, and the good news is there was really no complaints. We liked the way they set everything up. They did a really good job in the cable management. The build had no blue screening, no weird bloatware or anything. It just got we got here and it worked basically and you're able to buy it on amazon with two day shipping so that's really awesome and the fact that they have other pcs to choose from is also really good so if you want to buy this pc check the links down below and check out this lcgs pc from thermotake really cool that they're making pre-builds and special thanks again to them for sponsoring this showcase of this beautiful computer so as always we hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did check out our other two youtube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye exactly. Hey, you want to know what's awesome? We just got over 10K followers on Instagram, over 10K followers on TikTok, over 10K followers on Twitter. We're definitely growing our social media platform, so definitely check them out. Check them all out. We do a bunch of fun, crazy stuff, especially our TikTok. There's a lot of fun content over there, so check the links down below. Follow our social media. If you can't get enough of the Toasty Bros, see you guys later. Goodbye.